Hi, and thank you for joining us. My name is Shavise Turner, and I am the founder of the Binge Eating Disorder Association, and this is Weight Stigma Awareness Week 2013. Just want to give you a little bit of information about how this week came to be. Several years ago, BETA's Board of Directors decided that the issue of weight stigma was so pervasive in their eating disorder clients' lives that we, as an organization, had to bring attention to this problem in a big way. I rarely meet a person who has had an eating disorder or someone who has struggled with weight concerns who cannot tell me a story about some sort of comment or incident that affected how they relate to their body. The unkind or insensitive comments by family, healthcare providers, employers, friends, coaches, teachers, peers, and others become internalized bias, affecting how an individual feels about and relates to themselves and others. The fear of being fat, obese, a person of size, however you feel comfortable identifying this state of being, is pervasive and oppressive in our culture. The many messages we receive daily about people at higher weights being bad, lazy, unmotivated, slovenly, unattractive, selfish, and gross can be deadly according to research done over the past decade or more. In a culture where discrimination and shame are encouraged as a way to keep people thin, Individuals will find ways to cope with the stress brought on by these traumatizing experiences, and research shows that the stigmatization of body sizes and shapes leads to a decrease in health and quality of life, and in fact increases weight and even suicide. Quite the opposite of the results touted by advocates of shaming people thin. A recent study in the Journal of Pediatrics showed that close to 50% of children who are classified as overweight or obese in childhood go on to have eating disorders. These are the children who are teased and bullied about their weight and will try to change or soothe themselves as a result. I myself, unfortunately, was one of those children. Yearly weighings in school was torturous and I experienced teasing and bullying on the playground, amongst my friends in the neighborhood and elsewhere. I turned to binging, restriction, and extreme dieting as a tween to cope. The more I tried to lose weight, the more I gained. I eventually developed binge eating disorder in adolescence and lost many, many, many years of a quality life to obsessing about my body the food I ate, and how to make myself smaller. It was years and years of life on hold and wasted. This said, I'm one of the fortunate ones. I received help for my eating disorder and built resilience to the stigmatization and discrimination that I experience every day by moving around and engaging in the world around me. It no longer traumatizes me and I will not compromise my health or well-being in the pursuit of a body that is unrealistic for me. I will focus on my health to the best of my ability and welcome joy to my life each and every day. This is what I, the BETA Board of Directors, our supporting organizations, bloggers, sponsors, and other contributors to Weight Stigma Awareness Week want for you, your family member, your client or others in your life. Please take some time to engage in Weight Stigma Awareness Week's blog conference, first of its kind, providing different tracks each day that address an aspect of weight stigma on BETA's website. Our blog contributors are well-known researchers, clinicians, advocates, family members, and individuals who have studied, treated, or dealt firsthand with the destruction that is weight stigma. Join us for educational interviews on Tuesday and Thursday with thought leaders such as weight stigma researcher Dr. Rebecca Poole, clinician Amy Pershing, and dietitian Marsha Hudnall in the fields of eating disorders and weight concerns. And also a tweet chat on Wednesday with Dr. Ralph Carson, 
who will be talking about the neuroscience of weight stigma and eating disorders. The blogs will be released throughout each day, so check back often each day to see what is new. Share the blogs that speak to you and your family, friends, colleagues, and clients. Use the materials for support and therapy groups. And be sure to bring this information to your therapist, doctor, or mentor if you are struggling and just beginning to become aware of how weight stigma is affecting you. Ending weight stigma became a part of VITA's mission two years ago because we felt so strongly that it is a critical part of recovery from any eating disorder and a social injustice that must be addressed. Please become a part of this mission by becoming a member of the organization, attending our annual conference that is open to professionals, those struggling or in recovery, families, educators, and advocates. Donate via the website Utilize the weight stigma toolboxes developed for professionals and individuals with eating disorders, weight concerns, and families. Share all the information with others and look within yourself to see how you have internalized messages about size and shape. Together we can make a real difference in our lives and that of others by educating ourselves about how to adjust our perceptions and attitudes. Take one step today, just one. Find the compassion in your heart to stop and question your thoughts when you look in the mirror or see a person of size who you may not have stopped and thought about in a more positive way, but rather would have made a comment about in the past. Take in that size does not define you or others. Live life today, experience joy, and show others your compassion by not spreading the biases and harmful words and attitudes that do so much harm. Finally, I would like to thank our sustaining sponsors who with their generous contributions made this and other beta programming possible. Oliver Pyatt Centers Treating Eating Disorders, CRC Healthcare's Eating Disorder Programs including Carolina House, Monte Cantini, Sierra Hope of the Nevadas, and the Victorian, Timberline Knowles Treating Eating Disorders, Castlewood and Mon Monarch Cove Treatment Centers, Cantor and Cantor Law Firm, Green Mountain at Fox Run, and Rosewood Centers for Eating Disorders. If you are looking for help with an eating disorder and specifically with binge eating disorder, please call the BETA hotline at 855-855-2 Three, two. Keep in touch with us over, over social networking through the week and let us know what you are up to. We want to hear your stories about how you use the education and resources provided. You can find all the information you will need on our website at www.betaonline.com. Thank you. And we hope that you and others in your life will benefit from the 2013 Weight Stigma Awareness Week programming. Bye-bye for now.